Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're talking batteries. These are the two main types that you'll see when dealing with RCs. You got your nickel metal hydrides and you got your lipos. There are other types but we don't typically use them anymore. Uh, these have been the more predominant ones. Um, we're going to be talking about what the different numbers and letters and all that means on the different batteries. You know, it can get kind of confusing if you're not used to it. You'll hear people talk about NIM or MA and you know over here with the lipos, you got your your C ratings and your your S, and it's like, what does all that mean? Well, the nickel metal hydrides they look like individual little batteries, and this because they're more of a metal based chemical system where these are a lithium polymer, otherwise lipo. So on these, the NIM nickel metal hydride that's the chemical makeup. When you see the numbers this 1800 or this 3000 or this 3600 that is the capacity that's how much yeah you know juice you actually get from the battery so it equates to how long you can operate the vehicle you know just like lipo batteries you know 3200 or you know the the 5000 you know and this little guy down here which is 350 yeah this this is how long the battery lasts how much energy is stored up in them when you're talking about you know, your voltages, you have here, you know, if I can get it to focus, 7.2 volts. And uh, this one over here, this is also 7.2 volts. This Traxxas one here, this is 8.4 volts. You know, that's the nickel metal hydrides. Like I said, they look like little batteries. These are fairly simple, straightforward. You know, doesn't have a lot of information to them. Not a lot of weird stuff. These with their different ratings, their C ratings, and their, their, <clears throat> when you have the, uh, the S on it, the S stands for how many cells. So, like, with these, this has six, this has seven, and this one has six. This, that three S, that means that there's three cells. This is a two cell. This is also a two cell. And then this one down here, believe it or not, yep. That's a two cell as well, but the the C rating on these, where you see the 30 C or the 20 C, or this one here has the 100 C, and this one has this 100 C. That 100 C or that 20 C or 30 C, that's how quickly you can charge the battery and how quickly it discharges. And that's basically if you had a gas can and you're trying to funnel it through a straw or funneling it, funneling it through a garden hose. This would be funneling it through a straw. This would be funneling it through a garden hose. You can move a lot more juice a lot faster. Yeah. So that's really the main differences is, you know, just the chemical makeup between the batteries and, you know, of course your LiPo batteries, they give you a lot more power and, you know, you can, as you can see, they, they make them where you can you know, discharge them so you, you can get a lot more punch in the RC. Um, I actually put in some videos here where you can see where we're running a, it's the Arma voltage. I'm running it on this battery here first, which is the nickel metal hydride. And you can see it runs at about 13 miles an hour. And then I switched it over to one of these and you can see it ran about 18 miles an hour.